so I have a couple of really cool uh, salt guns here to try out today. We have, if you've seen any of my other videos, we have the Shredder by Bug Assault. And we have the Salt Swat. So both of these are CO2 powered, basically pellet gun designs. This Salt Swat is a platform that is going to mount on the Crossman 2240, a 22 caliber pellet gun. Um, this is an add-on mount. Goes on very quickly. We'll go over that shortly. And then we have the Shredder, which is also on a CO2 powered pellet gun frame. I believe it is actually based on the Crossman Vigilante. And again, with just a modified end. So this one, there's no additions or modifications needed in order to shoot this. Both of these pistols will shoot salt. The Shredder uses a salt cartridge that you buy from Bug Assault. They sell in a package of 12 for $11.99, so roughly a dollar a cartridge. The Shredder has a salt reservoir that you can refill, so whichever salt you're using, table salt, I will be using the Bug Assault. Now, I mentioned earlier that the Crossman 2240 is a 22 caliber um, pellet pistol. The salt swat that attaches and inserts in the barrel, I measured it early, and it comes out to the 0.177 caliber pellet. So basically, it will be the same caliber as the shredder once the salt leaves the barrel. I don't know if that will actually affect. Um, the amount of power going through considering that it is on the 22 platform. So briefly I will go over each platform before we start. So the shredder, the upper, is all plastic. It's strictly for salt uh, or whatever, I guess whatever other things you may want to try reloading those cylinders with. But as you can see, here in the barrel, there is a plastic divider in there to keep you from shooting anything else like a pellet or a BB and I'm going to assume that is due to the fact that this is a plastic barrel and so you don't really want to be damaging that so I wouldn't advise removing that so that you could try shooting pellets um, I don't think it's a good idea. Shredder also is um, there is a bug beam scope you can buy attachments, so there is the bug beam, the laser attachment for this. And it does mention scopable. Uh, I guess this is a rail in here, so you could add some additional sights if you want, to maybe some holographic sights, or I don't know. Now for the salt swat, you do need to have the Crossman 2240. Now one thing you do get with the salt swat is that you do have a fully functional pellet gun. So once you remove the salt swat, you still have a pellet gun. So you basically have two guns in one. Ammunition, of course, is whatever you want to put in it. Uh, regular table salt, the bug assault salt is actually a little pricey if you ask me, but um, like I said, we're using the salt that's in the cartridge. So I want to have a fair comparison. So we're going to use the same salt in the salt swat. The Crossman also has a lot of accessories you can buy. There are laser accessories, sighting accessories. Um, so there are things you can do to upgrade this as well. This mounts very easily. We just slide that into the barrel. It's got this nice simple clip that fits around the front sight post and then clips down on the barrel and it's pretty solid as you can see the overall length is pretty long it's kind of well it's long <laughs> let's start now with the shredder at two feet I added some pasters to the foil here it may reduce penetration but I thought it would give us a good idea of the spread Let's try three feet. I'll 
I'll go again with the shredder. And now the salt swap. It appears that the two and three feet, we have quite a big spread. I thought I could squeeze three shots into this foil, but I think I'm gonna to have to replace it. I was expecting to see a breakthrough though. Let's give that a try here. Let's go to about one and a half feet, which is about where I usually shoot my flies at. Let's try some clean foil without the pasters. I think the sticker is actually made for less penetration. So let's see what these actually do. We had the shredder on the right and the salt swat on the left. And we started at two feet and then went back to three feet on this. So the shredder penetrated at two feet and we did get some mild penetration on the salt swat also at two feet. At three feet we had a really nice spread, huge hole with the shredder at one and a half feet and at one and a half feet the salt swat also punched a good size hole in the foil. Now I'm adding some glow shot targets just to see how the salt is spreading on impact. We'll start with targets at two feet with the shredder first followed by the salt swat. Next, let's try the one foot range with the salt swat followed by the shredder. So the salt swat target is on the left and the shredder on the right. We're going to do some fruit now. There we go with the strawberry with the salt swat using this as a more soft skin example of a bug. You can see it's kind of mushed up there. It's got a lot of strawberry blood on my hands. Now we're going to do the shredder. That actually put kind of a crater in the side. We'll go to grapes. A little harder skin than the strawberry with the salt swat first. See, it's kind of chewed up pretty good there. Now let's go to the shredder with the grape. And this kind of tore up the whole top side of the grape there. Pretty impressive. Now I go to a pepper with the salt swat. Figured it would be a harder skin. You can see this one's very cratered with the salt swat. And then the shredder. See that impact pretty nicely on the replay. This one actually put a hole in it, cratered it up pretty good, but there is actually penetration. I did actually eat all of these fruits after the shooting, and they were pretty saturated with uh, salt. Both of them would have resulted in probably a dead bug. I've included a couple of salt swat fly shots as you really can't tell the difference between the two and this. These are just to show function. All right, you've made it through all that footage. So I picked out 10 points that I thought were important during the testing, at least for me. Uh, hopefully it applies to you as well. Number one, the cost for startup. Realistically, they both cost about the same to start up. Both are right around $100, give or take, uh, probably shipping and handling or your state taxes, state local taxes. Um, 
so that's a tie. They both come in. So I'll give each of them a point for that. Cost of operation. Now in that one, the salt SWAT definitely wins. The shredder, as you saw, a really good system, but the cartridges are expensive. I did do some videos as far as reloading, but again, that's additional time and effort that I think the salt SWAT definitely wins. Uh, you just pour salt in the hopper. That one's a pretty much very straightforward answer, I think. So number three is the CO2 life. So that one goes to the shredder. I had to replace the CO2 cartridge twice in the uh, salt swat during the testing as the penetration just significantly dropped off about halfway through. Number four is penetration and the power. That one again goes to the shredder. As you can see, um, it seemed to hit a lot harder. It was much more focused uh, as far as impact, and I do believe that's due to the longer barrel, the nine and a half inch barrel over the, or was it nine and a quarter, over nine inch barrel. Uh, the salt swat following the hopper was, I believe, was a little over three inches. So I'm thinking that that nine, that nine inches, just kept much tighter group, keeping the power much more focused. Um, so definitely uh, penetration power goes to the shredder. Uh, but number five, the flying insects, I think would go to the salt swat. So if you're trying to actually shoot those bugs out of the air, as demonstrated in the um, test fires, the salt swat definitely put out a high volume of salt in a very big pattern. So much like you would use a shotgun, uh, I think for flying insects, I think if you're going to take them out in mid-flight, the salt swat definitely wins that category. I actually broke down number six into two parts because I had it for need, what you need it for. The first part, 6A I guess, is uh, for those hard to kill bugs. So scorpions, centipedes, yellow jackets. The shredder takes 6A clearly. It's it's a much harder hitter in a small area, um, but then 6B is the other part of need. When you're lounging by the pool, as is actually advertised by Salt SWAT, if you're in the, lounging by the pool drinking a beer, the Salt SWAT might be a good one for taking out those flies and other pesky insects that are buzzing around. As it's, You don't have to get up, and I think it'll actually take them out of the air. Number seven, overall functionality. I think that has to go to the salt swat. Uh, it's a pellet gun, it's a salt gun. You can quickly and easily switch them between the two. Um, I, I, you know, the, uh, what makes the shredder the good penetrator, um, the additional power, I think, is that it is a dedicated salt gun. But for overall functionality, I'd say you'd have to give that to the salt swat as it has multi-purpose. Number eight, I kind of gave this one another tie. Um, plinking. They're both incredibly fun to shoot. Love just shooting them. They're, they're really fun. I don't know if I would pick one over the other. They're both just, I give them a tie again in that category. Number nine, I probably could have grouped with number eight. They're just incredibly fun guns uh, both of them so that was the category I'd written was fun which ones are fun we could all get a fly swatter we could all get a bug zapper we use these because it's fun to shoot flies number 10 my last one the grab and go gun unfortunately because as you leave both of these with the co2 as far as grab and go, I don't think either one of these is good for that. This is more for you're getting ready and you're preparing to go out and shoot some bugs or you found something serious and you can go in, you take the time to load it up, put a fresh CO2 cartridge in. But for the most part, if it's that mosquito that's buzzing around in the bathroom, the one for that is probably the bug assault, the 2.5 or 3.0. Pick it up rack the slide, 
um, shoot the bug. So I think that purpose is not why you buy one of these two in the first place. So I don't think that one is, is crucial, but I'm leaving that um, as is. So I tabulated the score here right as I was doing this. Uh, so I'm actually quite surprised with the outcome. It actually came out uh, a seven to six. The ties, I gave a point to each side. Uh, with the salt swat coming in with seven and the shredder at six. I had originally just off the top of my head, I actually thought the shredder had beat out the salt swat. So I was a little surprised. Uh, that being said, I don't necessarily think that the straight up head to head um, competition was is exactly the end all as I don't believe that these two systems are meant to go head to head. They're other than being CO2 powered, which gives both of them much more power than most of the pump action salt guns that we have. The the real beauty here was that they, they kind of fit different roles. I think the salt SWAT as like a very high powered uh, fly gun probably can take the yellow jackets out of the air just because I think it's strong enough to damage their wings, which may require a, a coup de gras, but it's one thing to get them. They're very difficult to get in the air. So I think the, the salt SWAT is great at that. But again, the shredder is amazing at killing those really hard to kill bugs, those pests. So again, I think it's really going to be up to you to decide what you need for your own household. We get these CO2 uh, salt guns because they're fun, they're heavy hitting, they both do a great job. And I think that ultimately it's you're going to have to decide what the purpose that you're buying it for is and you're going to get the right one. If you can get both, they actually are both really great. They're both fun to shoot. They feel different, but they're really good shooters. And I know that's probably not the end all you wanted to hear, but that's what I came up with. Again, I was very impressed with both of these and I really think it comes down to what you need. The salt swat, I think what really tipped the scale cost to operate is very low for this. Once you make the initial investment, it's basically the cost of salt. You're already buying CO2 for the pellet gun or the shredder. So that is kind of insignificant between the two. That cost is going to be the same, maybe slightly higher for the salt swat, but the dollar a cartridge for the shredder really kicks the cost of operation uh, in the other direction. I hope you like this video. Please hit subscribe and like. I'll be coming out with some other videos soon with uh, specific reviews on the salt swat.